this article, I wrote about some things that were um, that are kind of traditional views um, of how I've had to live here as a woman. I decided to get a cut and I was going to cut off quite a bit. She wanted to call him and make sure we had permission. Yeah, somebody said that uh, they said I knew who I was getting paid from for spreading misinformation about Kosovo. And I'm assuming that they were, I think it's pretty clear they were saying I was like being paid by Serbia or something like that. Like in America, women don't do that. Heather, can you tell me about the article you wrote uh, writing about Kosovo, the mentality, the people? This article, I wrote about some things that were, um, that are kind of traditional views um, of how I've had to live here as a woman. It's not necessarily true for everyone. Um, and I know that in like in Pristina, things are quite different. And I said that in the article, yeah. but living in a very small town, it can be um, very traditional. And I don't have a problem with that. That was one of the things I liked moving here from America. So um, that's what that one was about. Uh, can you tell me uh, like more details about the article you wrote that you were uh, you went to a hairdresser and they asked if you asked permission from your husband to cut your hair? Yeah, and that's kind of a weird thing. I'm not saying that would happen every time or to a woman. What happened was the hairdresser is one of my best friends. She's my best friend here. And I was um, visiting her and I had not come for a haircut. And it was spring and I was started to feel like, oh, you know, I want to get my hair cut. <laughs> and I decided to get a cut and I was going to cut off quite a bit. And obviously I don't want to talk about like how much or exactly because I wear hijab, but um, it was quite a bit, but my hair would still have been kind of fairly long, but it was quite a bit. And she just was then worried, well, you know, men usually like long hair. Is your husband going to be okay with this? And I'm like, he doesn't care. I, Sadek doesn't care what I do with my hair. So, um, but she was just worried that because, you know, a woman's beauty is often seen as, as, you know, part of it is her hair. So she wanted to call him and make sure we had permission. I've had other instances where I'm talking to a woman and say, let's go do this. And she says, I have to ask my husband first, which is fine. Um, but that's not like in America, women don't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. When we were talking about your article, you mm -hmm. also mentioned some comments people made towards your post. Uh, mm -hmm. How uh, did those comments uh, make, uh, make you feel? And can you tell me more about uh, those? Uh, yeah, somebody said that... Uh, they said I knew who I was getting paid from for spreading misinformation about Kosovo. And I'm assuming that they were, I think it's pretty clear they were saying I was like being paid by Serbia or something like that. I, I thought it was a little ridiculous. Um, I don't want to spread any misinformation. And I guess I feel if people think that my stories are talking about how the culture here is more conservative and traditional is showing it in a bad light, I think they're looking at it the wrong way. Not everybody wants to live in a traditional conservative culture, then they have the choice to be in the city and that's okay, that's their choice. It, it's such a different culture and it's being lost and I'm just trying to document what I see and how I'm living it. It's all just through my lens. At first I was a little worried and I was sad because I, the last thing I wanna do is spread bad information or, or, or give a bad look to Kosovo because I love it here and I love the people and I don't want to ever leave. This is, this is my home now. So, um, but I also don't feel that being honest is a bad thing. 